right, so this is an idea I've had for at least a year now. I've wanted to do car reviews, but drifting. So review drift cars and drift them, explain the differences in each one, how they drift. Eventually I'd like to get into doing like three cars at once, like all like stage one, stage two, stage three of like a build. Like, yeah, you get the idea. Um, but for now, we're gonna start out with just doing drift car reviews. So we're gonna walk around to the car, list all the stuff on the screen, quick talk with the owner driver, just them explaining what they did to it and all that stuff. Then we're gonna drive it. I'm gonna try to talk while driving, but I don't know if my mic's gonna work. So it was a slight problem. Uh, I have this GoPro, my Hero 3, because if you remember, my Hero 5 went flying when I was at PBIR and, and lost forever. I looked for it, I couldn't find it. So I had this mic that like literally plugs in, no adapter, and it looks like this port is a little broken. So I got no audio from the actual mic. Well, I had this knockoff one I bought because I didn't want to spend another $400 on another GoPro uh, just to lose it. And I wasn't really a fan of it, honestly. For $400, it's, it's not as good as I feel like it should be. And I'm not even that critical on stuff. So I bought this one, 70 bucks, has a screen and everything. Nice video quality, colors look better in my opinion. But I had had the waterproof case on it before. I put the regular uh, backing on it. And the waterproof case, it was just a little muffled. So I was like, sweet, I'll put the regular one on it. You'll be able to hear me fine because I had it on the chin before and you could still hear me through the waterproof one. Well, it's super peaky. Like it sounds like I'm talking through a drive through speaker at volume 30. Yeah, I wasn't being manly enough. So it's virtually pretty much useless. Like you might hear some of it, it's, it's terrible. So I'd done five of these reviews with virtually no audio as far as the driving goes. I'm gonna do this one, uh, see what you guys think of it. I'm planning on redoing them. The problem is the main cars that I'll be able to redo, like Matt's car and Adam's car, are both getting a whole new level of mods. Like Matt's car has got WiseFab now and, and a couple other things he's done since I did this review. And then Adam's car, you know, as you guys probably know, he's doing the whole SR and it's gonna make probably, you know, 100 more horsepower spool quicker. It's gonna be a new car, so it'd be cool to compare the two. So I'm not sure if I'll make, you know, an individual one or just throw back to this footage. Uh, when I do his review again. Um, so let me know your thoughts on that. That's the main reason for this interjection, just to tell you guys that I did buy a Sony Action Cam, which has a direct mic plug-in back here. Um, I looked into it a lot. This seems like the best option. I've got a whole setup that I'm gonna be doing on my helmet uh, to hopefully have good audio for the next series, but I wanted to get this out there just to see what your thoughts were on it and get some feedback from you guys uh, before I do the rest of them. You know, that way I just know because they kind of just Throwing it with the wind here, I haven't done this before. So let me know what you think of the format, let me know what you want to see more of, less of, focus on more, questions you're gonna have about the car so I know kind of what detail to tell you guys about and all that so that'll help me make better ones in the future. Uh, and let me know if this is uh, will suffice for the first few uh, or if I should just redo them, if this is terrible. So let's get started. We're doing Daniel's car first. This is literally the most budget V8 swapped car I know of, like super budget. So, walk around. Daniel, give us a quick rundown. Um, super, super budget, 4.8, $400 junkyard motor, Canton pan, LS1 cam, uh, hardened push rods, LS6 valve springs, super cheap, super basic, all eBay. Um, Did you make the mounts yourself? No, $100 eBay mounts. Nice. What about the trans? Tell me uh, about the trans. Okay, trans is funny. It's a V6 S10 transmission. NV3500? NV3500, NV yeah. Uh, did you already get the picture of it? Yeah, it's yeah. It's like super janky. But placement. it's amazing. It works. It's uh, super budget. Super yeah, cheap. 250 Craigslist all day long. You probably have less into this car than most people do with their SR cars. Yeah, I have less into this whole motor trans swap everything than I bought my SR for bone stock. Wow. 1750 yeah. total into the drivetrain. My SR costs two grand, so. How much would you guesstimate you have total into the car? Sold the last car for more than I paid for this chassis. Oh, I so see. I technically, see. I have zero into the chassis and 1750 into the drivetrain. So less than two grand into an LS swapped S chassis. 
And we're gonna go drive it. It can be done. It can be done. This is for all those people who say you can't do an LS swap for cheap. Yeah. It can be done. You can do it. Let's see how it drifts. I knew what to do, it was good. It feels really good, like it feels like it has a lot more power than it probably does. Uh, yeah. Like if it's 408 with the RS1 cam, what would you say, like 280, 300 wheel? Uh, yeah, like just under 3. Yeah, like Alright, well that was really fun. I mean, there you have it. That's pretty much the most budget V8 240 you could possibly imagine. We just talked about it and under two grand for the drivetrain. He bought the car for 800 bucks with the cage and knuckles and coilovers. So say you get a shell for a grand, so you're at 2,700. Another 700 in miscellaneous, you're at 3,500. You could essentially build this car. The Slot most budget 240 ever. Right. The transmission crossover is probably the funniest thing about this. Is because nobody makes an adapter or like a NV3500 to 240 transmission mount. So it's an automatic KA cross member what? With, with two hockey pucks and a bunch of self-tapping screws. Oh my God. Yes. You heard me right. You heard me right. <laughs> is, me right. It is that ghetto. That's amazing. But it works. Uh, going on eight months now, not a single issue. Not a single issue. This thing just, he, and he drives Knock almost every event. Knock on wood. Knock on wood, it's fine. But, but he drives almost every event in this car. I get tons of seat time, and that's what's important. So thank you, Daniel, for letting me drive your car. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this little series. We're gonna do a couple more today. So comment below what you want me to change, do different, new to this. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Goodbye, Daniel. Bye, guys.